It's too early to know exactly what it's going to be like. It is. But right now, things aren't looking like we're going to have a great vantage point all across the state of Texas. Yeah, the odds are not in our favor. <sighs> but you can get lucky sometimes. I want to explain. So we can get an idea of the weather pattern, the larger scale mm -hmm. of things, 7 to 14 days out. That's okay. why we have a 14-day forecast. We're in that forecast. pocket. We see yeah. that, right? Now, there are some sometimes some smaller scale details that can cause clearing, and that's what we're hoping for. But mm -hmm. let me show you this map. Here's the path of totality across the U.S. Uh, obviously, Texas has a huge uh, draw to it because the totality will be longer here than yeah. other places. Now, just like we're seeing tonight and tomorrow, an upper level disturbance will be sitting somewhere near Southern California, the exact location to be determined. But what that means is it'll start pumping moisture into the area. So if we look at a couple different models, we are overlaying the clouds, right, on top of the totality path. Well, this is the European model with that cloud cover at 140, which would be total eclipse time. Mm. Well, that doesn't look so good. No, so we look not at to, all. We look at other global models to see, okay, where is it putting the low? And well, it's putting it in the same spot. Oh, it's bringing clouds to the same area. So you can see right now why our confidence in a good viewing is not very high. So the current odds of favorable viewing conditions about 15%. That doesn't mean zero. I want mm -hmm. to emphasize that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, we'll call it you know, about a one in six, one in seven chance. That's not, I'm trying to be optimistic. <laughs> it's not great, but it's not the word, it's not zero. Right, so if we had a day like today where those clouds are just kind of hanging around yeah. all day long, what would we experience? What would we see? Okay, so if the clouds are, this is the thing too, the, the cloud thickness will make a difference too. Mm -hmm. If we have thin clouds, you'll actually see it. Right. It'll be filtered sunshine, right? Yeah. Uh, if we have overcast skies, you're not gonna see the sun just like you wouldn't on a normal overcast day. It'll get really dark for yeah. like four minutes. You'll certainly know the eclipse is there. Yeah. Uh, then it'll be gone. So we're watching it carefully. When I tell you that we're just as bummed as anybody else I and know. we're hoping for the best, things can change. Yeah. We'll keep it up. All right.